Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back and I'm doing resin. Um, so some of you may or may have not seen um, when I did this piece. It was a long time ago, probably about at least a month to a month and a half ago. Um, it was just me testing out um, these new colors I had picked up. Um, these awesome pastes and um, uh, what's it called? Pastes? Yeah. Jeez, like I mean, I'm not even thinking. I really need to go to sleep. Anywho, um, so I was just testing out the colors and then, you know, this board has just been sitting around for like a month and a half and I said, you know what? That's a waste. I'm not going to waste it. So I am going to pour over it and hopefully end up with some pretty cool design. So I've already gone ahead and put a layer of the clear resin. And so for anyone who wants to know how to mix resin, check out my video in the link or, you know, in the little description up there above. Um, I, that's a video where I show how I mix my resin. And so I'm just going to use the same colors. They're all um, by U Resin. Uh, wait, uh, there it is. U Resin. So I have Deep Ocean, Sapphire, Jade, uh, what's this, Turquoise, yeah, Turquoise, and I believe Amethyst. So I'm just literally gonna mess around with this. So, and I have some white mixed up too, just in case I wanna make some cells or lacing or anything like that. So all these are going this way, so time to mix it up a bit. I just, I've been looking at this board for the longest time and I'm sick of looking at it and it's just sitting there when I'm, you know, I could be doing something with it, you know, and end up with, you know, potentially, hopefully a nice piece. So I figured, all right, let's get to it. So I don't know if I'm going to use that purple or not. Everything on here is blue and turquoise. It would be kind of silly to throw purple in the mix. So I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, may not actually use it. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna start with that. Let me clear my hands off the best I can and let's heat it up and push it around. All right. So actually what I'm going to do is I am going to use some of this white because it's going to create some pretty nice lacing. So I'm going to do that. And if you can tell, which I'm pretty sure you can, yeah, you can, the turquoise is actually a matte turquoise. It's not shiny or shimmery like all the other colors. So I definitely want to throw um, some white in there. And in there. And let's do it here. All right, let's try that. All right, I'm liking that. Now, I love the deep ocean and I don't have too much of it. So I'm gonna add some. It's my favorite color. So you can't have, there's no such thing as too much 
dark blue. What else, what other color do I really like? This jade color is also a super nice color. So I'm gonna add some more of that. I might as well finish these up because there is no sense in keeping extra resin unless I had some other project to do, which I don't. So I might as well use these guys up. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the purple. Amethyst, I'm so sorry, you are pretty, but I'm not going to use it. And then actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my clear white and I'm gonna go over these ones I just did because then when you add white on top, it does a really nice um, lacing effect. Let's see, do I want anything else in here? Let's go with that and let's just add some white here and here, here. And I think I did one more here. All right, let's see what comes out of this. Should be interesting. Yes, like now do you remember what it looked like in the beginning? Now look at it. And then because everything's so nicely warm and heated up, you can actually tilt it. You know what's funny? I could see the under layer in here. That's really cool actually. So you can tilt it and see the under the, the original layer underneath. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think new paper towel. All right, I'm just gonna blow a little bit here. I love this. This is really cool actually. I'm so glad I ended up just finally taking this board, just been sitting here in the basement and I'm so glad I finally did something with it because it would have been a big waste. It's so pretty and all around has been covered too, which is actually really nice. And I don't have that much left over, so that's good. Because wasting resin, you know, kind of sucks. But I like it. It's really cool. Let me, uh, yeah, I'll take these off. Let me bring you guys down for a close-up. So as I said, um, these um, pastes that I bought, um, that I have, you can buy off um, Resin Pigment Canada. Um, and what else? I don't know. I'm not thinking. So let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And you know, if you're a new, uh, newcomer, um, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video and check out all my social media links below guys. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all that fun stuff. What else? I've got my Amazon links for the shops. You can find all the supplies and the tools and everything I use on there. And my PayPal link for anybody who would like to donate to my PayPal. That helps me buy supplies so that I can continue doing videos like this. Well, there you have it, guys. I finally 
um, fixed that round, um, which by the way is a 12 inch um, and it's an MDF um, wood board, MDF. It's not canvas, it's MDF. And I have it taped underneath as well. That way, you know, I, I can pull it all off and the back will be all clean. So that's it for now, guys. Take care. Um, when you're watching this, I'm probably in sunny Florida because I am going on vacation um, very soon. So I hope everyone's having a good day or a good night. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.